Hey boys and girls, this is Jens from Germany and I wanted to show you what's inside my controller case and I wanted to explain why I built it this way and why not. And before we begin, I'm very sorry for my <sighs> sometimes very bad English. Um, writing in English is very easy because we have Google. <laughs> But um, speaking English is just another deal I have to deal with, as you may say or not. No. Anyways, um, so let's begin. Um, first of all, this stand is an ordinary keyboard bank. So it's uh, designed to, um, to, so you can mount your keyboard on it. So the music keyboard, not the PC keyboard, <laughs> of course, but... Um, I've seen this uh, a lot of times on jobs uh, where sound guys have these and uh, mounted their uh, sound consoles on it. And so I thought, why not? <laughs> and um, it's uh, it's okay. For a price about 30 euros, it's, work it's worth it. It works perfectly for me. You can adjust the height and the witness and... Um, the only thing I added to this is <coughs> this arm. It's made of, uh, I think it's steel or something. Um, I don't know really what metal it was, but uh, with my older console, this was my monitor arm because uh, on my older console, you need an external monitor to view the programmer. Uh, but now on Gems' times, this is, you can view the, the programmer in the inbuilt monitor and so on and it's but it uh, has another job today but i show you later so uh, let's become uh, let's go to this case um, as you can read on top of it it's a bitmix 4 case by uh, reloop so bitmix 4 is a dj controller a midi controller for I think virtual DJ or some other sort of software, DJ software, but it has the perfect size for an older PC wing. So I ordered one and um, made my own case for my PC wing. And today I will show you what's inside and why I did things I did and uh, and so on. So let's open up this. So there you can see the wing. And there's a notebook uh, slider up here. Oh, okay. So um, the case comes empty. It's only designed to fit with the uh, Bitmix 4. And you have to do some adjustments I will show you later. So if we take this off, I can show you what's inside the case. So here we go. Just a piece of foam so the controller won't uh, bounce back and forth. Uh, by the way, um, the orientation of the case is there is your handle. So your wing stays on the bottom of the case and you uh, don't tip it over and so on. That's really cool about this case. Uh, that's my little co worker. This is Edwin, my bad. <laughs> okay, what have we here? <clears throat> so I wanted to have access to many connections, as naturally everyone will have access to this. Um, so I added a little wooden board right there, and on top of it I mounted uh, this uh, this rail for the connectors and what have we well there's a power con in and output and four ethernet connectors a usb connector for the wing and of course two universe direct output five and three poles dmx and so here we have the wing and right in there 
we see or don't see, barely see, <laughs> there's a four-way power uh, um, disruptor where I have fitted my, uh, this is power source for the wing, I think, no, it's for the, uh, for the switch and this is for the wing. Oh, well in front of the wing on the front side there's a cable door uh, so it's designed for a um, DJ controller where here we have normally uh, aux in and uh, monitor out and so on and so on so this doesn't really work for me I need my connections on the back side of the case and um, so I mounted this this rail with the connectors and I have a fixed point where I can connect my Ethernet or my DMX power supply and so on. Well, so under this wing we have a five port um, D-Link uh, switch. I think it's a gigabit switch. Well, let's take this right here. There are some cables inside. You need power con cables and cut cable or ether con cable. <coughs> oh, and um, everything in this case is not mounted uh, directly, so uh, like with screws, everything is with uh, these, uh, I think. You call it Dupont tape or something. In Germany we say Klettverschluss. So here we have a D-Link root, uh, um, not a router, it's a switch with five ports. Four of them are used. And as you see here, I have one open port. Uh, so I can decide if I want to take all five or if I want to have... Uh, another power con output so I'm not sure what I'm doing with this open port but uh, it has to be closed next time all right so in this case we have the wing and a switch and that it is nothing more nothing less and it works it works really good and um, if we slide the uh, table on top, you never see this mess. But it's not it's not really a mess. It's I, it's okay. Some dirty cable cable management. Um, okay, the uh, USB cable from the wing fits here, and there you have your outside connection. So it's always connected and uh, I can choose uh, if I use uh, the wing with my notebook or with my home PC. So just like I want. I can connect it how I need it. So and here we have some other cables. Ah, yeah, cables. <laughs> we have some Ethernet cables, PowerCon input, power disruptor with PowerCon, and a USB cable for the wing, of course. And now we slide our top back on, just like this. So we have a clean surface. So, okay. Let's say we build our setup. It's easy, to, just like that. Got my notebook right here. This is a Lenovo Flex uh, 15 2 or anything like that. And this has uh, a touch screen. And the best of all comes now. You can flip it over. So my keyboard, my PC keyboard, went down. And there you have a touch screen. 
really cool. It's okay to uh, to label things with the uh, with the on-screen uh, keyboard. That's totally okay for me. Works well. Um, now we have to connect some things together. Um, because of a really shitty uh, Ethernet uh, port on this notebook, I uh, choose to buy a little uh, what kind of TP-Link uh, Ethernet connector. Works always works good. Totally okay for the price. Um, by the way, all my not networking. Uh, components are by TP-Link because uh, I use it at home and it's uh, strong, it's powerful and it's cheap. That's another reason for it because <laughs> we all need something cheap. That's why we are using of course Gemses and why we are using uh, other components and why we built so uh, cases like this? Because it's cheap. So here I fit my uh, my power supply. Of course, with uh, this Dupont or Klettverschluss or what you call it. Let me know in the comments what is it called. And. Power input. So. Okay, I, I, I don't connect it now because uh, just for showing. Then we have our wing connection, USB in, and we have network cable from the notebook into the the uh, the switch, and now the best of it. At this moment, we come back to. It's an L rod. Ta-da! My TP Link router, which is uh, in charge of giving IP addresses to other equipment in the network and of course to couple my uh, my handy my android remote system to the campus system and on this position if i get my drawer back So, that's my, my complete setup. Touchscreen, notebook, my wing, and a wireless network access point, or how you call it. And with this setup, it's lightweight and it's uh, fast. So, uh, it has a fast setup time so if I have both hands free and not holding a handy to film this um, I think I'm with uh, five minutes from uh, get into the venue to have control over my system and uh, it's flexible it's only free um, free items my my notebook bag my wing case and my stand and that it is nothing more nothing less
and it works very well. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, hopefully my English wasn't that bad. Uh, hope you forgive me for some really bad English. But um, yeah, that's my system.